Looks to be minimal damage on the Rusty Wallace Kodiak Pontiac, so we'll check on pit road and see exactly how severely that car is injured as everybody is on pit road. Rusty Wallace is in for service, and you see him going to work. Let's take a look and see what happened out of turn two. Well, we see Rusty trying to move on the inside of Jimmy Means, and Jimmy didn't realize that he was down there. He was going to pull down to the inside of the racetrack and give him room to move on the outside, but Rusty had already made his commitment to move on the inside, and the result was, of course, that he Jimmy spins to the inside. Let's go to the pits of Dick Berger. Well, it's Rusty Wallace car is not badly damaged, but what he has lost here is track position. About four or five cars beat him out of the pit area. It was simply a slow stop. No real reason for it. They didn't do any special work on the right front of that car other than to take a look at it. But Rusty got beaten coming out of the pits, and Earnhardt, as usual, was the first guy on the racetrack. The battle heats up a little bit up front as Earnhardt now trying to hold off, and he gets a little bit of a tap from Ricky Rudd. Earnhardt's still out of shape, and Rudd will have the inside move. Let's see if Earnhardt can get back at him, but no, Rudd pushes the pedal and goes by. They head for turn one, and Earnhardt says, okay, it's my turn. Up turn one, and here he goes. Rudd goes around. Right right Earnhardt is on the brakes, Bodine's on the brakes, and Rudd is spun, and yellow flag. Well, that's interesting, Ned. Yep. It's uh, tap one, tap two. Oh, uh, watch and see Rudd. what NASCAR does here. This is poor Ricky Rudd. that has been so strong all day, but he knows, as well as everybody knows, when you mess with Dale Earnhardt, it's like messing with a hornet's nest. And NASCAR has effectively slapped them both on the hand by putting them, I guess, or we understand well, they are planning possibly to put them back on the tail end of the lead lap. Well, we'll wait and see what happens. I don't think that's happening, Jerry, because Earnhardt now is going back up to the head of the pack. He's uh, leading the race, and, and they did not uh, motion him to go to the back, at least not at this point. Oh, there, there they, they go. go. Now, now he's slowing up as yeah. Bodine goes around him, so we are showing now less than 40 laps to go here to Wilkesboro Speedway. And the leader showing is Jeff Bodine now. And carries the body with fresh tires on right behind Bill Elliott. He's just looking for a place to go because those fresher tires is better for him, but he didn't have any running room. Jeff Bodine right on the bumper of uh, Rusty Wallace. You know, Jeff's got to be upset with himself for not racing Rusty to the line because Jeff really was the leader when the caution came out. White, White flag, flag this time by final lap. Can Jeff Bodine catch Rusty Wallace? And he nudges him in turns one and two. Wallace a little bit out of shape. Bodine back on the inside. They are door to door. Down for the white flag. Final time. Here's Wallace back on the inside. And he, he nudges Jeff Bodine in turn three and four. The crowd on their feet. And it will be sideways. Rusty Wallace will win it here at North Wilkesboro Speedway. I mean, they are on their feet, ladies and gentlemen, for an outstanding finish. 